Sellers has Jordan. Jordan with two seconds to go. Puts it up. It's good at the buzzer. Michael Jordan has won it for Chicago. Michael Jordan hit the basket at the buzzer. This is one of my favorite plays of all times and perhaps one of the most memorable plays in NBA history. Chicago taking the ball out of bounds on the side. And remember, back then, when you advanced the basketball, you had to take it at half court, not up by the 28-foot marker. What Cleveland decided to do is Cleveland was going to play a zone defense. They knew that Michael Jordan was the guy that the ball was going to go to. As a result of that, Cleveland decided to zone off. They took Brad Doherty and played him on the ball side of Michael Jordan. They took Craig Elo and played him behind Michael Jordan. His job is follow Michael Jordan as tight as possible. And they took Larry Nance and put him on top of the screener, Jordan's teammate that was supposed to screen to free him up, anticipating that Michael was going to come out in this direction to try and catch the basketball. Now let's watch how smart Michael Jordan is as he executes the play. Jordan busts off the screen and right there at that moment creates space by driving into Larry Nance. What he did is he created space here and then created space on the backside here with Craig Elo. Jordan now will try to find the opening where his teammate can pass him the basketball. Remember, by taking the man off the ball and not having a defender on the ball, it allows a clean look for the inbounds passer. Jordan seeks the opening. The pass is right where it has to be. And at that moment, Jordan winds up, in essence, in a one-on-one -on -one situation with Elo. Elo at the mercy of Jordan having to play him one-on-one. -on -one. Nance is too far out of the play right now to help out. And Michael Jordan senses that he must get the ball to the foul line area. That's where he's going to have the opportunity to try and make the game-winning shot. Jordan puts it down left hand, gets it inside the top of the circle. We're talking about a 17-footer there to win the game, send Cleveland home, Chicago moves on, and I'd say Doug Collins was a happy man.